Hi, welcome to this die designer video tutorial. Uh, for this video, we will be looking at uh, unified screw plugs and caps. And uh, you can find that up in the components menu. Uh, scroll down to cap, uh, screw caps and plugs or UN from the command line. And uh, yeah, that brings up the uh, dialog box. And just to run you through that a little bit, uh, we have our various thread sizes for these unified style H's um, in either a plan view, uh, X ray, which is tap from the top side, plan view is tap from the far side, or a profile view. Um, also, we have uh, uh, mainly for uh, English units, inch units, we'd be using the uh, unified uh, metric designs. We would be using the, uh, the Masumis. Uh, this is an uh, inch design, so we will go with the unified. And um, also the help system. Uh, just click on it, gives you a description. Uh, in plan, you know, description, the command line, UN, menu location, and then some of the intelligence uh, for the bill of materials for object transforming and the touch command. Uh, just one note on this. Um, I love these things. I love these screw caps. I love to put them behind a, a spring um, rather than a blind or spot faced hole. Certainly that's dictated by, you know, the customer's uh, construction. Uh, but uh, given a choice, I like to put, put these behind springs rather than a, a blind spot-faced hole. Uh, just gives the tool maker a lot of but less disassembly if they have to get to something. So, so yeah, also a uh, button for the this video uh, demonstration if you care to see it again. Uh, but yeah, let's um, let's start out here. I am going to put a unified uh, uh, screw cap uh, behind this spring. Um, normally, I would put the cap in first and then put the spring in later. But for this demonstration, I I think we're pretty good. Uh, so cap screws, and you know what? Hold on a second. Let me measure a distance. 420. So we will probably go with a half inch so the tap drill will be about the, the correct size there. We'll go with the half 20. Um, and we will go in the profile view. Okay. Uh, snap to the intersection of that and the direction of the cap screw. Yeah, and it draws it in. Now if this didn't look right, um, you could draw the draw another size in until you got it right and knew what you were looking at. So now, so it is right and we're going to go with unified. We're going to go plan, tap from the far side. okay and then drop it in there. Now the touch command, I can just click on that unified. And I bypass the command line, I bypass the dialog box, and um, yeah. So uh, the touch command's a neat thing, you know, it, it really, really is. Um, it's, it's much quicker to go here than to go up here and drag it down, or even the command line. I love the command line. Once you get comfortable with this, you know, you would type U in, U N to start it. Once you get one in there that's the way you want it, then you would use the touch command after that. So yeah, they're all put in. Uh, we'll do a quick ballooning just to show you the, um, the catalog information. We'll use the split leader balloons, LB. Blue number one, snap to the center. And I'm going to detail all three of these items that are stacked on top of each other. So I'll get that um, pilot spoolie bushing. I will link the spring. 
and now I'll get this unified screw cap and now we got one two three four five six seven eight nine ten of these so we'll scroll over here where the bill of materials will go design aids bill of materials or BM and it'll happen real quick it'll spit it all out so there you go there's our, our Dayton uh, bushing we're using for a pilot lifter um, our lee springs behind it and then finally beneath that is our our unified uh, screw cap with uh, all the good ordering information just to quickly show you something else the object transform um, if you're detailing this out, um, certainly in the die shoe, it would stay this threaded hole. But through this backup plate, it would be a drilled clearance hole. So we'll copy one of these over. We'll do an object transform. And it transforms into a drilled hole. Now if I was <clears throat> running the whole chart on these individual details, the backup plate, the die shoe. Um, you know, I would, it would, well, I'll show you. Dimension, whole table, select. So yeah, um, your A-hole is the, the tap drill size for that unified, and the B is actually the thread size, drill and tap through far side. Um, for the unified screw caps. So, um, yeah, kind of neat. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video, and thanks for watching.